Our story is not about a hurricane, but for some families, it began with one, Katrina. For others, it began with greed. Our stories are about a basic necessity used to build the walls of the American dream, our homes. The only problem was this basic necessity, drywall, turned out to be yet another toxic import made in China. Imagine you worked hard and saved a, a down payment for a house of your own. Down payment on the American dream. Imagine that you found the right place, secured the fi uh, financing, and happily started your life as a homeowner. Now imagine months later though, that your house is filled with a putrid, rotten, egg-like odor that just permeates your home, makes your children sick with severe headaches and nosebleeds. Imagine the mounting frustration of the copper coils on your AC unit in your refrigerator corrode, develop leaks and have to re be replaced again and again and again. You ultimately have to move your family into a rental home and find out that the cause of all of this pain and grief is nothing other than defective drywall that fills your home and was imported from China. I built this wonderful house, my dream house, and didn't realize when I moved here and moved into my dream house that it would end up being a nightmare, an absolute nightmare. Many of my constituents don't have to imagine that nightmare. They're experiencing it and living it out right now. The government needs to intervene, it can't be left to the citizens to deal with the foreign power. That's the role of government, and to this point, they've not been living up to their responsibilities. Many are severely financially strained as they continue to have to pay the mortgage on the first home, and then go out and find a second residence to live in and pay for both. Some have had their homes foreclosed on. Some have gone into bankruptcy. I've been in these homes. These people are hurting our fellow American citizens. And because our legal system is flawed, the manufacturers of the contaminated drywall that's coming from China, they're not being held accountable for a defective, dangerous product. Even if a judgment is made in favor of the homeowners, it can't be enforced. That is not right. Builders can walk away with little or no responsibility in building homes that make people sick and ruin their health and finances. Homeowners insurance and builders insurance is not covering the damages. At the end of the day, who's left holding the bag? It's the owner of the home. This is not the American way. The doctor uh, suspects that the Chinese travel may well have had something to do with my condition. I have a lot of problems with breathing problems, funny nose, funny eyes, and I have had since we moved into this house. The doctor advised us not to live in this house any longer until it's been fixed completely. So we intend to. After foreclosure, who remediates these homes before they are reintroduced into the marketplace by the banks or shady investors bent on flipping them to unsuspecting buyers? Is the toxic drywall disclosed? Is there a standard remediation protocol? Or is this a slipshod flipper decision? How many families are now second generation toxic drywall victims because of the lack of disclosure and government intervention? Sometimes I almost give up hope that I'll ever get to live in my beautiful home again. Joe Maddalena struggled to explain to his kids why they had to leave their home. Three months ago, beds, furniture, clothing left behind. He blames Everything Chinese drywall and, and worse, employers. he built it. You know, here I'm supposed to protect my kids and I harm them. For years, builders conspired with drywall manufacturers to cover up the Chinese drywall issues. Recently, we also learned that U.S. drywall manufacturers have systematically worked to keep toxic American drywall cases out of court. There are numerous theories on what the causation is for toxic drywall, yet there is not a conclusion. How do you stop this from happening again when the United States government has no idea how it happened to begin with? Four years later, thousands of people, like me, wait for a resolution that may never come. We've been abandoned by our government, 
betrayed by our builders, squeezed by our banks, and let down by a legal system that's powerless to go after Chinese companies. And what's worse, each day new victims are unknowingly buying into this nightmare. Their lives are about to be ruined, and what's being done to prevent it? Nothing. <laughs>